use the arbor knot to attach your backing to your fly reel. So in this demonstration, the fly reel is here and the backing is of course represented by the red cord. And all I'm gonna do is start by taking the short end of the backing and bringing it around the, the uh, arbor of the reel. And mind you that this lower section of cord uh, is, you know, 50 to 150 yards of, of backing that you're going to end up winding onto the reel. So we take the short end and we tie a simple overhand knot of the backing onto itself. And tighten that down. And then again, still with the short end, we're going to tie another overhand knot and tighten that down a bit. And then with actual backing, which is very slippery and fine uh, string, the backing, when you tighten this down, will cause the upper knot to tighten down onto the lower knot and snug up against the arbor of the fly reel. And you've completed your arbor knot securing. The nail knot is useful for attaching lines of different diameter to each other, and especially for attaching leader to fly line. So in this example, the leader is represented by the red cord and the fly line is represented by the green cord. And on the left here is the actual end of the fly line and off to the right it's attached to the fly reel. Whereas uh, the leader, we will uh, say, is extending seven to nine feet off to the left, tapering down to its tip. And what we're going to work with in this knot is actually the, the shorter end and the thick end of the leader that you want to attach to the fly line. So you start simply by making a hoop with the leader. And after you've got that hoop, we're going to start running loops through the hoop and around the leader itself several times. This is actually somewhat challenging with the finer uh, actual leader and fly line and you got to be a little patient with yourself getting started. But once you have about six loops through the hoop, you've got enough to tighten down the nail knot and you do that just by pulling on both ends of the leader until it's nice and tight and all those loops are snug up against each other and you've completed your nail knot. And when you've completed the nail knot then you want to snip off the uh, short end of the, uh, the tip of the leader that remains and the very tip of the fly line that remains so that you don't have anything to hang up against the snake eyes of the fly rod when this knot is going through the snake eyes. And that's your nail knot.